Countries that are located around the tropics are usually blessed with a huge variety of flora and fauna. One of these countries in the tropics is the Philippines. Across the 7,600 plus islands that make up the Philippines, you can find over 52,177 different types of animals. The country has one of the highest rates of discovery of new animal species in the world. Over 50% of these species exist nowhere else on Earth. I mean, how cool is that? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be showing you rare animals that are only found in the Philippines. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This looks like a gargoyle without wings, or even Gollum's child if he had one. Presenting you the Philippine Tarsier. This creature is one of the world's smallest primates, ranging from about 8.5 to 16 centimeters in size. It also has a hairless tail, which usually is double the length of its body. As you can clearly see, it has huge eyes. These eyes help the tarsier to see in the dark and facilitate the activities of this mostly nocturnal animal. It also weighs about 100 grams, which is just the weight of your usual four AA batteries. Its conical-shaped ears are extremely sensitive to sound and help it evade predators in the dark. Crocodiles are found all around the world, and they aren't so unique to the tropics, so what makes this Philippine crocodile so unique from its other cousins around the globe? Well, first off, it has a relatively small body size. However, they have been known to grow up to two meters. The old crocs have a darker shade of skin on them, while the young sport golden brown scales. The deadliest of all these features is definitely the strong set of jaws it has. These strong jaws help it to kill its prey with ease. They're of course carnivores and usually feast on small birds, other mammals, and even lizards. Mindoro dwarf buffalo, otherwise known as the tamara, despite its rather small body size, is the Philippines' largest native mammal. With a shoulder height of 0.95 to 1.2 meters and being about 2.2 meters long, it really isn't that big. It just looks like your average South Asian buffalo, but smaller. It also likes living in wet landscapes, kind of similar to the just mentioned buffalo. Due to excessive poaching, their numbers have dwindled down and they're also an endangered species. Mouse deer, just like its name, is kind of what would happen if a mouse and a deer had a child. I mean, look at it yourself. It lives in dense forests and eats leaves and flowers. Owing to the fact that they're herbivores and enjoy living in thick vegetation, they're rare to come across. They're lengthened about 40 to 50 centimeters from head to tail. This species is endemic to the island of Palawan. Their lifespan is 14 years and live till 12 if in captivity. Here's the Philippine flying lemur. No, it's not a monkey. Well, it's not exactly a lemur either. You're probably wondering if the flying in its name is true or not. Well, they do fly more so they just glide. They're able to do that because of their bat-like wings, which help them glide as far as 100 meters, usually just gliding from tree to tree. This lemur isn't considered a lemur because of features just like this. They also have a foot-long tail and are omnivores, eating small insects, leaves, and fruits. Not much is known about these creatures because only ever two of these creatures were caught in the wild. Meet the Cebu limbless worm skink. The two skinks were found under leaves near a riverbank. They're said to be located on the islands that make up the Sulu region and are one of only five limbless reptile species known to exist. They're very tiny though, only 7.4 centimeters in length. Their upper portions are dark brownish and have a reddish and pale underside. They've never been caught on video and are thought to be extinct many times. The Philippine cockatoo, also famously known as the red vented cockatoo, is usually seen in the islands of Palawan, Tawi Tawi, and Masbate. The white colored body and red undertail give them a very cute appearance, one of the reasons why they're kept as pets. Another reason for that is because they can dance, sing, and even talk. They also have a bleeding call that's different from other cockatoos. Because of this popularity, their numbers have fallen because of poachers. Found only in the Luzon and Mindoro region of the Philippines, these Luzon peacock swallowtail butterflies were once considered two different species until authorities realized they were one and the same. Their wings are black but are dotted with sparkling green dots that make them look like they're shining. The hind region of the wings is painted in bright colors and is very appealing. Their main source of food is usually leaves and flowers. Just like other rare animals, these pretty butterflies are also classified as endangered. 
Locally known as the Ludong, the lobbed river mullet is a species of mullet that live in fresh water. They're the most costly fish in the country in many areas around the world because of their delectable, distinct taste and scent. A mature fish of 2 kilos may even cost 4,000 to 5,000 pesos per kilo. Since it's seasonal and thus becomes difficult to catch, it fetches a high price. Though because of overfishing, their numbers are falling down and fishermen have looked for alternative fishing locations as far as Mount Fuji to catch them. The Negros Bleeding Heart Pigeon is found in the islands of Negros and Panay. It's pretty apparent where they get their name from. Those bright red or sometimes even orange groups of feathers resemble a punctured wound. Unlike other bleeding species, their wound marks are much narrower. They forage on fruit and other invertebrates on the forest floor. Since they usually move in packs and are on the floor, poachers can easily hunt them down. They're also classified as endangered. The Mindoro tree frog is a unique frog species indigenous to the island of Mindoro. It lives in the lowland forest of the tropical island and varies in size from 14 to 22 inches in length. They come out in a range of colors too, greenish gray, brilliant green, or even yellow green. They have yellow and white stripes running on the sides of their bodies, then have these cold spots that dot their backs. They have orange adhesive toe pads on their long toes. Male Mindoro frog is very territorial and proves it by making loud calls. Accompanying the bleeding heart pigeons is this species of spotted deers which live in the islands of Panay and Negros. It's one of the country's three endemic species and thrives well in rainforests. Their diet consists of shoots of kogan grass and young, low-growing leaves and buds which are abundant in the habitat this species found in. Again, this species, just like many others, is classified as endangered and efforts are being made to restore their numbers. This is the Philippines' only endemic megabat species. Meet the knacked back fruit bat. These bats can be located in the caves of Negros Island and are sometimes spotted on the islands of Cebu. Just like all species of fruit bats with a naked back, this megabat has wings that connect at the midline of its body. When they glide across the air, they're astonishingly agile. They prefer to live in forest limestone caves because of the availability of naturally open and shrubbery vegetation. Meet the Lete Pond Turtle. This turtle is an inhabitant of Palawan Island. Yeah, even though it has the name of Lete Island, it doesn't live there. They have vertebral scutes that are shaped like ginkgo and show a coloring of yellow and white around the ears. It's perhaps the reason why they're sometimes referred to as the bowtie turtle. Found in the country's tropical and subtropical forests, these white-winged flying fox bats have rich brown eyes, which makes them unique and sets them apart. Their bodies covered with gray fur and stripe goes around their backs. They have a head and body length of 16 inches, making them one of the world's largest bat species. Well, that was all the animals on our list. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which animal you like the most. If you liked the video, leave a fat thumbs up. As always, take care and goodbye. We'll see you in the next one.